Okay, so before we actually go any further with our series, the first thing that we need to do is synchronize our settings so that what appears on my screen is what also appears on your screen so that you and me are on the same page and we'll be doing the same thing and you don't get confused when I start doing something that is not what you're used to. So the first thing that we need to do is set our drawing parameters. The first thing is go to the units. So make sure that your units are in millimeters because mine will be in millimeters. I do not use centimeters. I don't use meters. I don't use kilometers because the drawing standard when you're using metric units is going to be millimeters. Everything you draw it to a scale of millimeters. So make sure it's in millimeters and then click OK. Then the next thing that you'd want to do, right, is make sure the magnetic cursor is on and auto mode is on because this will aid us in most of the things that we're going to be doing. After you've managed to do that, the next thing that you need to do is go to the paper size, which is the last thing that we'll be setting under that menu. And just make sure that you are using A1 and in landscape mode. Some people may use A2, A3, A4, whatever you use is okay with me, or even if you want to go to A0. But the reason why I use A1 is because it's big enough so that anything that you draw will be visible on site. And at the same time, it's not too big such as an E0 or A0 because A0s are too big. Yes, they're visible, but they're too big and they're not handled well on site. They end up tearing and they're also just chunky enough to be moving up and down ladders or fire escapes, whatever with them. And also they're just too big for the site. So we want to stick to using A1. So make sure you're on A1 and you are in landscape. Okay, now that you've set your drawing parameters, I think that is what we just wanted to do for that point. The next thing that we need to do is go to the pen settings. So by default, these are the pen settings that you will have from your drawing. But what I want is for you and me to be synchronized on the same drawing. So I could just import or give you this in the file in the description below. But I just want to teach you how to make your own pen settings in the case that you want to change it from what I use to whatever you use. So the first thing that we need to change is actually the paper color. So the paper color, just make sure that it's going to be in black. Make sure it's okay. And as you can see, it's already changed. Then for the background, make sure it's in black as well and just click OK and we're good to go. The next thing that we need to change are actually our pens. So in this case, we're just going to go to pen number one. In our case, it's good. The width is going to be 0.1. That is good. But for the color, I want it in red. But then for the print color, I want it in black. That is OK. Same one I want, just want you to just go to, go to two, three and four. Just go to the print color. Make sure that it's in black. Go to the print color. Make sure it's in black. Go to the print color and make sure that it is in black. Then once you're done, I want you to go back to, zero po to pen number two, change this to, from 0 0.15 to 0 0.2, then change the next one from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. So just make sure the zero is there. Then just make sure the zero is there. Then when you go to pen number four, what I just want you to do is go from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. Okay. And then what I want you to do as well, when you're in pen number five, go from 0 0.35 to 0 0.6. That will be okay. And then for pen number six, what I want you to do is go from 0 0.5 to 0 0.2. Then for pen number seven and pen number eight, what I want you to do is 0 0.1 and make sure that this one is also 0 0.1. Then for the colors, I want you to go to two. Then at two, I want you to select yellow. Then you're okay. Then for three, I want you to go and select this green and you're okay. Then for pen number four, I want you to go and select cyan and you're okay. And then for pen number five, what I want you to do is select this blue, this one, and you're okay. Then for the print color, what I want you to do is select black, and you're okay. Then when it comes to pen number six, seven, and eight, what I want you to do is for pen number six, go there and select this gray. Then go there, select this gray as well. Then when it comes to pen number seven, what I want you to do is select red. Then for the print color, I want you to select red. Then when it comes to pen number eight, what I want you to do is select blue. Okay. And then for the print color, also select blue. Then for those three, the black, the construction line and the offset, what I want you to do is just leave them as default. And then as for the line style, we're going to leave them as default. So you can always export these settings if you want. In this case, we're just going to call them the program geek settings, which is okay. Then you save them out. And the cool thing about this settings is because they're going to synchronize a lot of things that we'll be doing. And these are the pen settings that are mostly used in most companies in South Africa. And you could use them because after all, if you're using the SABs or the SANS, you are using things that are common to South Africa. So what you would want to do is just stay synchronized to everyone so that if you move from one job to one project or one province to another, you are just doing the same thing that everyone else will be doing. 
So this is it for today's video. We just wanted to set our settings and synchronize everything so that you and me are on the same page. So what we'll do is we'll wrap the video right here and we'll see you in the next video.